pain and getting weary must be over. These are men of the altar. <laughs> oh, Shaladabai. Radabala Katana, Sheketekaria Katana, Malabaya. No cesses, Radabala. Come on! The day of Pentecost was fully come. That day has come. Yes, sir. Fully come. Apakata. Ne ke 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 he said, You have come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God. We have come, we have come. At times of reflection, it comes from the presence of the Lord. Go ahead and pray the Spirit. Parakados, Paradina, Seria, Parakados, Parakada, Pariata, Paragona. Let our hearts pass tonight. The pantings of the fear. Go ahead and crave for his presence, more of him. The fire only rests upon the hungry heart. If the carry unto you are endued, can you make a dangerous demand tonight? I came for an encounter. I am not living until there is an encounter. I am not going back until there is an encounter. The woman with the issue of blood proposed in her heart. I must receive my thoughts tonight. If you have another alternative, you will not find that encounter tonight. Go ahead and cry. Meet me on the altar. Meet me on the altar. Meet me on the altar.
to give perspective so that we know the weight of what God is giving and what is meant for. The Lord told me, sir, he said it's apportioning nations to individuals. Did nations. we talk about it? Inheritances are nations. Nations! It, it's not about car, it's not about land. I'm telling you, some of you standing here, you are the owners of Scotland. You are the owners of Canada. You are the owners of Belgium. Hear me! The Western world is dying. Corruption is taking over. Perversion is taking over. When God keeps us on the altar here, it's because Zion is traveling. Yes. And as soon as Zion travels, she brings forth her children. The children we are giving birth to is not Moses and Nathaniel. It's Zambia. It's Canada. It's Ghana. It's Scotland. They are nations of the world. That's why your womb must be enlarged so that you can bring forth a generation, so that you can bring forth a nation. And there is a fire demand for you to be able to set a nation on fire. Yes. That's why he said he maketh his angel spirits, but his ministers. There is one language we carry. It's the yeah. language of fire. It's the language of the yes. burning flame. Yeah. Demons are not interested in theology. Demons are not interested in grammar. What fire do you carry? That's why God is cooking us. Tonight there is a download from heaven. Can we lift our hands one more time? Lift your hands. Something of heaven is about to fall here. Yes. Sir, hear these brothers and sisters. God told me. He said, the reason we must be set on fire is because when we show up with fire, we remind the devil of the messianic judgment. When Satan was judged, the Bible said, out of your bowels, it said, fire shall come out and it shall consume you. When a man of fire shows up, Satan is reminded of judgment. That's why demons tremble. That's why demons flee. And when God sets you on fire, there are territories you enter. Even without preaching a sermon, they will know you have come. He said, this be the man that turned their walls upside down. Yes. Can we lift our hand one more time? Lift your there hand. is a fire about to descend here. Yes. There is a flame about to come yes. down here. That's why he was teaching about sacrifice. Lift your hands. Because the fire falls on the sacrifice. Lift your hands. Everyone standing here numbered for the nation. Lift your hands. Everyone standing here numbered for his generation. Lift your hands. Everyone standing here numbered to carry a mantle. Lift your hands. To carry a dimension from the front to the back, to the overflow. Yes. To those watching Keep on your hands. Life, let the fire begin to fall. Let it fall. The spirit. Let, let it the fall. the fire begin to fall. One. Carry that flame. Two. Three. Come on, lift your hands. Four. We are going to seven. Five. That's right. Six. We are talking of fire. Seven, let the fire burn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All over this place. In the overflows. Come on. Fresh fire. It will baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And with fire. These are men of the altar. Come on, 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 pray in the Holy Ghost. Your hands lift up. It's happening. 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 Sophia Nene. Meliana Tor. Shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travel. Did you hear that word? Nations. Nations. There are individuals here receiving keys to nations. Nations. Nations, nations, God is also giving keys to cities. I can it's change the world with the fire of God. There's a fire inside of me that is able to burn the world. <laughs> we are talking about I fire. I can change my world. The Holy Ghost and fire with the power of God. 
There's a fire inside of me that is able to burn the world. Hey, I can change my world <laughs> with the fire of God. It's up a road, I tell you. There's a fire inside of me that is able to burn the world. I shall back up. I can change my world with the power of God. There's a river inside of me that is able to drown the world. <laughs> I can change my world with the power of God. There's a river inside of me that is able to drown the world. I can change my world with the fire of God. There's a fire inside of me that is able to burn the world. Can we lift our hands toward heaven? Lift your hands. You know what the Bible said? When Abraham was going for the battle of the kings, nations ganged up, took over Sodom and Gomorrah, and message was sent to Abraham that your nephew Lot has been taken. Abraham did not consult with any king for support. The Bible said, Abraham divided himself amongst 318 trained servants. Oh, yeah. You know what that means? Why did you think there was no casualty in that battle? Because it was 318 nations against five nations. Ooh. It was impossible for one man to die. Nobody died. No cash Abraham out. knew that he was not just a nation, that he was a father of nations. nations. So even the nations that conquered Sodom were Abraham's children. And when they pitched their tent against Abraham, hey. he said Abraham divided himself and 318 men became 318 nations I hear know. this the least any one of us should be is a city the Bible says you are a city, city set a upon hill. a hill that cannot be I I I I I if I you I cannot I be a nation at least be, be a, a city. city and so tonight ah. the fire that is coming is yes. about to make somebody a city yes imagine if you are coming and your capacity is like a preacher your capacity is like new york and above all, your capacity is like the new Jerusalem. Because you have become a city. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. There is a fire that makes men. Because men are full in the furnace of fire. And when that furnace is done with you, you don't come out as Nathaniel. You don't come out as Peter. You don't come out as Jennifer. You don't come out as Jay. You come out as a city. A city. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Lift your hands. The mantle, the dimension that makes man to become cities and nation. Let the rest of what you have. Yes. I can change the world. With the power of God. There's a river inside of me that is able to drown the world. <laughs> drown the I world. can change my world. Change my world. All I need is the Holy Ghost and power. Yes. I am Our God, God anointed Jesus Christ with Holy Ghost and power. We went about cities doing good and healing those who are oppressed of the enemy. For God is with him. How shall this thing be? See that I have no connection. It's the Holy Ghost. I'm fire. It's the Holy Ghost. I can change my world. With the power of God. Lift your hands, everybody. There's a river inside of me that is able to drown the world. There's a river inside of me that is able to drown my world. There's a river inside of me that is able. Take your seat if you can. That's an interruption. Quickly. 
because God is not through with us. Just, just continue to burn. Just continue to burn. Lend me your ears if you can hear. Number five, the text of this faith that was once delivered is a voice activated faith. Voice activated faith. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing beyond hearing the word of God, hearing the voice of God. Hmm. The voice of the Lord is powerful. It activates dimensions of this uncommon faith. Psalms 29 verse 4 to 9. March 15, 2020. At the beginning of the pandemic in the United States of America. i never forget that morning when the voice of the Lord sounded. That's when encounters began to erupt in my life. Of a new order. The Lord said to me, and listen to this, he said, Men are made in crisis. And voices are heard in crisis. The situation of our nation is opportunity for voices to arise. The situation of the world is an opportunity for voices to arise. The, the situation of nations... It's an opportunity for voices to arise. But hear me, we must go beyond hearing the word of God and receiving revelation and so on and so forth to hearing the voice of God. The voice of God. This is one major difference with the faith that was once delivered and the faith that now is. We have taken the word of God and shut our spiritual ears to the voice of God. But this faith that was once delivered is a faith that calls you by name and sends you forth. The Lord said to Abraham. The Lord said to Moses. Every giant of previous generations are men and women who heard the voice of God. Mm. quickly number six the text of this faith that was once delivered is an obedience powered faith you can't hear his voice and not move acting on the things the Lord has shown you let me, let me quickly tell you this if you will truly walk with the Lord there are very many tough decisions you will have to make this year Leave your father's house, he departed. Leave your nation, he departed. Who told you following God is cheap? Who told you becoming a nation is cheap? There are instructions that birth nations. Whatever he tells you to do. Because many things he will tell you to do are very tough. If you consult with men, there are steps you will never take. If I waited to move by consultation, Awaken Abuja will not be holding. Obedience. So men like Evan Roberts obeyed. In Bible school, he knew that what they were teaching there was below the dimensions of encounters. They thought he was sick. They tested him. And they named his sickness religious mania. That's we can't describe it. But this man seems to be having encounters with the invisible. 
One instruction to begin a small meeting took a nation. Never despise small beginnings. For though thy beginning be small, thy later end shall greatly increase. What is the instruction God has given you last year that you are still consulting? There are men who will never believe you till they see proofs. Obedience. Number seven, very quickly, is a patient faith. That looks like the opposite of what we have learned. Patient faith. So we have a very impatient generation. Everything we want is now and now and now. But after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. A patient faith. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12 to 15. Of course, there are things not to wait for. You don't say you are waiting for salvation. You don't say you are waiting for healing. But there are mantles to wait for. The next one. The faith that was once delivered to the saints had the texture of sacrifice, a sacrificial faith. Apostle mentioned that briefly when he stepped up here, a sacrificial faith. Gather my saints together to me. Right? Those that have come by sacrifice. Sacrificial faith. Finally, number nine. And then we are ready. The texture of the faith that was once delivered, hear this and hear it well, is a daring faith. A faith that dares mountains, dares obstacles, dares systems, dares structures. A daring faith. William Carey, William Carey said, expect great things from God but attempt great things for God so people have learned to expect great things from God but have not been taught or touched to attempt great things for God gathering a city and saying what God said to me that he's picking men, he's marking men, he's selecting men, is a daring step. How old are you? What experience do you have? When did you come on the scene? I may not be old, but I've met the ancient of days. In 2024, at Attempt something great. Challenge yourself by attempting great things for God. The least we should be is a city. So what are you doing in a corner? And if you are like me, I won't stay at the least. I'll go for more. So if the least we should be is a city, the next we should be is a nation. After that, nations. After that, continent. I don't know how much time we have left for the trumpet to sound. God is looking for men who will attempt great things. Attempt great things. I, I was studying and the Lord showed me the, the, the episode on Mount Carmel. And I saw something I never heard anybody preach. Elijah said to Ahab, Tell all Israel to gather. And all Israel came. <laughs> he called a nation. And a nation gathered. And he said, We are not gathering to see how great I am. We are gathering to witness how great the I am that I am is. When last did you attempt something that may kill you in God's name? And great things. The Archbishop Blessing, Ida Osa of Blessed Memory said, 
It is risky not to take risk. It is risky not to take risk. The faith that was once delivered dares things. Dares things. The fathers that have done mighty wonders had to dare mighty obstacles. So for some of us, prepare. The doors of nations have opened. The doors of cities have opened. Some of you will call and cities will gather. Some will call, nations will gather. Attempt great things for God. John Knox said, a man with God is always in the majority. Always. Attempt. A timid generation cannot operate in the faith that was once delivered. This is the word of the Lord to us. Igniting lost fires. The faith that was once delivered. Don't tell me how great God is. Show me how great he is. Don't tell me of the testimonies of last year. Let's see the testimonies of right now. A generation is rising. Sorry, a generation has risen. And there are people that have already been marked here. No discussion with myself and minister. Don't say no discussion with myself and apostle. The spirit of God is one. fire of faith that has been lost it's time now to ignite it you hear of the testimonies of Azusa street you'll be angry about what is happening on your street but never forget these are men on the altar Lift your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. If I were you, I would stand up now. <laughs> Everywhere you are, stand on your feet. I just heard the voice of God. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. He said to me, don't mind titles, mind mantles. Don't mind titles, mind mantles. If people here are set on fire and you enter our church's back, from the pews, the fire will be burning that will affect the altar. You will speak and your pastor will say, what dimension is he coming from? Lift your hands. Lord, I've spoken your word. Now prove yourself in our midst. In Jesus' name. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video. I also like you to know that there is no breakthrough without an action. In fact, there is no product without a process. So we admonish you. Put those things to work and breakthrough will be evident in your life if you enjoyed this episode kindly hit on the subscription button below if you haven't done so and the notification bell and you shall be notified when a new video is uploaded you can like and share with friends 
and loved ones you can as well leave us a comment and we will be glad to continue the discussion on the comment section until we meet again keep watching our videos and stay tuned for the next video god bless you Thank you.